All right, uh, what's up, YouTubers? <clears throat> it's the J-Rex here. I gotta remember to talk louder. I gotta start making a habit of that so these videos can be more clear and people can hear the videos more clearly. So I'm gonna try to talk louder so um, people can hear me better because I, I noticed in the videos it's a little bit quiet, but okay. So yeah, this video is um, gold and silver will go up. Do not give up. So I can understand how frustrating it is for everybody right now. Gold and silver are just not going up. It just keeps going back and forth. Just gold and silver, you think it's gonna go up and then oh, denied, goes back down again. It's just all over the place and people are getting agitated. Like, why is gold and silver, why are these stupid, these stupid things not going up yet? <laughs> like just go up already and people have been waiting 10 20 years it's just really frustrating just waiting some people even 30 40 years so why is it taking so long to go up and people are just like why am I not making any money off of gold and silver yet it's just taking forever I, I want to hurry up and get rich <laughs> so uh, but the thing is though the um, technically though People should have started investing in gold and silver way back in 2000. So silver was about five dollars uh, in 2000. Gold was about three hundred dollars in 2000. So if somebody invested back then in 2000, which is where everybody should have started investing, 2000. That's where this started. That's when gold and silver started going up. That's when gold and silver went in, into a up market, a bull market. Um, but ev the people that invested in 2000 are still are doing good. If it, it, you know, they silver was five dollars back then. It, it's like twenty dollars now. So the people that invested back then are doing really good. They they quadrupled their money. They quadrupled their profits. So, but the people that invested back when gold silver was like ten, twenty, even thirty dollars. Yeah, it's very frustrating for for those people. Um. To still waiting, gold and silver have still not gone up yet. What is taking so gosh darn long? Now the thing is, the bull market is not done. There's still like another 10 years left in this bull market. So gold and silver are still going to continue to go up. So do not give hope, give up hope. And um, it's gonna go up way higher. Like this, we ain't, we have seen nothing yet. All right. So, but why are gold and silver not going up? It's simply because people have not figured it out yet. People have not figured it out yet that inflation is going to get worse and just everything's going to get more expensive. Uh, food is going to get more expensive. Uh, you know, rent is going to get more expensive. Everything, cars are getting more, everything's getting more expensive. And like you would think people have figured would have figured it out by now but but people have still have not figured it out like inflation is going to get worse everything is going to get more expensive food rent housing you know just everything's going to get more expensive uh and the dollar is going to be worthless it's going to be worth less and less and it's just like, you know, it's just, it's going to get worse and just get out of the dollar and go into gold and silver because the dollar's going to, inflation's going to get worse and dollar's going to be worthless. Like people have not figured that out yet. And I don't know what, what, what is taking so long for people to, like they go to Walmart every day and they see the prices of food going up like you go to the Walmart like everything's going up you know chips or milk or eggs or meat uh, f whatever people buy at Walmart frozen TV dinners or something I don't know <laughs> kids cuisine <laughs> everything's just getting more and more expensive and just I don't know like I don't it's like not clicking people like people don't see the price oh everything is getting more expensive need to buy gold and silver because dollar is worthless inflation's getting worse uh you know gold and silver are going up 
and get out of dollar, go into gold and silver. I, it's just not clicking with people, and I don't know why. Like, people have always, like, known this. Like, I, I don't know. Inflation gets bad, and then... And then, well, and then, you know, you would assume inflation's getting bad and then get out and go into gold and silver before it's too late and they lose everything. But I don't know, okay? So, people have not figured it out yet. But, um, but the thing is, though, people will eventually figure it out, all right? It just, it's taken, people are not stupid. They will figure this out eventually, but it's just taken a while. And people will eventually figure it out, and everybody will realize the dollar is worthless, inflation is bad, everything's getting more expensive, get out of, get out of dollar, go into gold and silver. People will eventually realize that, and they're gonna, they gotta get out of the dollar to preserve their wealth, whatever little wealth that they have left, they're gonna... They will eventually, like, we got to get out of this. This this is, like, it's getting bad. We need, this dollar is worthless. We need to get out before we, lo we lose everything. They're going to go into gold and silver. It will eventually happen. People have patterns. People have patterns. People behave in patterns and predictable ways. Like, people go from, everybody's, like, freaking out, and there's just hell on earth. And then everybody, and then the stock market is crashing. Everything is crashing. The economy is crashing. Everybody's freaking out. And then everybody just starts to calm down and be like, "Okay, no, we're fine. It's not that bad. Everything is gonna be fine." And then everybody just starts to calm down. And then everybody just, you know, goes back into the stock market. Stock market's going back up. And then uh, the economy's doing great. And people, everybody's making money and spending spending money and just everything's going great and um and just times get good again it just it, like it's just always in cycles people just behave in cycles they move in waves don't know why people do that maybe it could be like uh, like follow the crowd you know maybe like one person does it and then everybody else does it just kind of like a following the crowd kind of thing i don't know or maybe this person says this and then this person says that and then it just it spreads everywhere and then just people just move in waves that's just how it is don't know why um, but that's just what people do people just move in waves they move in big waves together that's just how it is so um yeah and uh so and the perfect example of this is the Dow Gold Ratio. Everybody can look it up on Google. I don't. I try, I'm gonna try to refrain from using like complicated charts and pictures because I just don't want to confuse people. But if people really want to to look, they can go on Google, look at Dow Gold Ratio, and um, you know, and see. But you'll see like it's just clear patterns, clear patterns. Stock market is crashing, gold and silver skyrocket, and then gold and silver crash, and the stock market skyrockets. It's always in waves, like it, like always in big waves, just big waves. Everybody moves here, and then everybody moves there, everybody moves here, everybody moves there. So, um, so right now we're in the wave, the wave of right now, the stock market is in a slow motion crash. The stock market always has to crash because that's just what people do. People just crash the stock market. People freak out and they crash the stock market. And that's just what people do. They always do it. It happened in 1929 uh, during the, the great stock market crash, the Great Depression. It happened in 1929. And then, you know... Uh, and then gold became extremely valuable and gold was able to buy up the entire stock market with just one gold ounce and then but the thing is though um that was back when we were on the gold standard and so that was kind of like a different time it was like a deflationary crash where all the prices went down all the prices crashed and went down to match gold's price and then gold was able to buy everything for super cheap, for dirt cheap, because the prices of everything else crashed. Gold maintained its value, and it was able to buy everything. And then 
the 60s, the 60s and the 70s, that was more of like an inflationary time. By that point, the gold was taken off the monetary standard. The dollar was not backed by gold anymore, and that allowed gold to, uh, well, the, to skyrocket because the, like, the government, the bank, the bankers, they would not let the economy crash. Like, we're not going to let the economy crash. We're going to just keep pumping dollars into the system so the, so the system does not crash. <laughs> but the thing is, though, you cannot stop the crash. It's going to happen either way. Whether it's through deflation or inflation, there's going to be a crash. You cannot stop the crash. So instead, what happened, instead of the stock market crashing, it just stayed stuck in the same spot for 20 years. For 20 years, the stock market did not go anywhere. It was stuck there for 20 years. Did not go up, did not go down. It was stuck there. And then, but what happened, Because they were printing so much dollars to keep the stock market from crashing. And they achieved that. The stock market did not crash. But what happened was gold and silver skyrocketed. They went up so high. Silver went from $1 to fifty dollars, and then uh, gold went from what three hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars. So you know, so gold and silver, like, oh, so you're not gonna let the you're not gonna let the economy crash, huh? You're not gonna let the stock market crash, huh? All right, that's fine. You're not gonna let it crash. Then we'll do it for you. We're gonna catch up to all the dollars printed by the government, and we're gonna we're gonna skyrocket, and we're gonna be super valuable. And that's what happened. So they would not let the stock market, they, they would not let the economy crash. So gold and silver did it for them. So gold and silver skyrocketed, went straight up and became super valuable. So that's what's happening right now. All right. The, the government, the banks, they refuse to let the economy crash. They refuse to let the stock market crash. They keep pumping more dollars into the, into the system. They will not let the stock market crash. And so, this time, gold and silver are going to do the same thing. Fine, you're not going to let the, the, the economy crash. We'll do it for you. We're going to go straight up. Gold and silver are going to do the same thing again, and they're going to go straight up. It always happens over and over. Look at the chart. The waves over and over and over. Gold and silver are going to catch up to all the dollars printed by the government. The reason why the stock market's going up is because there's just so many dollars being printed. And then all that dollar is like, oh, well, got nowhere else to go. So guess just going to the stock market. So all that printed dollars is just going in the stock market. It's just like there's nowhere else for the dollars to go. But, um, but people will, it's just a big wave right now. It's a big, we're in the middle of a big wave. Gold and silver are going to skyrocket soon. They, they skyrocketed back then. They're going to do it again. And, um, just big clear waves and gold and silver, they move together. So gold's going to go up. Silver's going to go up with it. So gold has to back up all the dollars printed by the government and the the stock market is a reflection of that you see the stock all the stock market went up so high it's because all these dollars got printed and went into the stock market so the stock market is a reflection of all the dollars printed by the government so uh you you could be looking because because everything is so out of whack right now like because inflation, because they printed so many dollars now, like honestly, like gold might have to be like forty thousand dollars one ounce now. It's gotten so bad now that gold has to be forty thousand dollars an ounce to to cover to to catch up to all the dollars printed by the government. It has to be forty thousand dollars now, and silver. Everything is so out of whack now. I I don't know. Like silver has to be. Silver has to catch up to the monetary ratio of gold, which is 1 to 15 ratio. So, you know, it has to catch up, go back to, um, gold and silver have to go back to being money again because the dollar cannot be money because they, they just keep destroying the dollar. So gold and silver have to be money again, and then they have to do an accounting of all the dollars printed by the government because the only way for the dollar to be considered money is it has to be backed by actual money so it has to be backed by something real 
and tangible and valuable, which is what gold and silver are. Gold and silver are money, and the dollar is just a currency that's supposed to represent real money. The dollar is not real money. Gold and silver are real money. So, uh, gold, $40,000. It, it's just gotten so bad now that gold has to hit $40,000. It has to back up all the, the debt printed by the government. $40,000, and then uh, divided by 15, you, you're looking at $2,600 silver now, just because things have gotten so bad. And I don't know if people just, just subconsciously have an awareness of what gold and silver are supposed to be, which is real money. People just have like a dis innate subconscious awareness like they know it like right now they they don't know it they're not aware of it they're sleeping but they will wake up and they'll realize it and it's just going to click one day it's going to be like an epiphany and they're going to just have this just just the awareness of like the spatial universe of the gravitational force field or something they're going to have like an epiphany like an awakening a, a spiritual awakening or wh whichever you call it something and they're going to realize gold and silver are real money we're going back into gold and silver. Like, like the government, the bankers, they're not going to jip us anymore. We're going back into real money. And we're not going to let the, the bankers or anybody screw us over again. And we know where we got to go. We know what we got to do. And gold and silver have to be real money again. Everybody's going to go into gold and silver again. Everybody's, and it, they're, they're all going to move together at a big mass, like a big, huge wave. They're all going to go in the same time. And then... They're good. Gold and silver are going to skyrocket. And the ex judging by the Dow to gold ratio, th that time should be 2028. So about five more years left, everybody. We are very close. Worst case scenario, maybe 2030, maybe 2031, 2032. But it can't imagine it to be... It has to be because the, the, the pattern is always correct. It's always correct. It, it's a very consistent, very stable pattern. And it has to happen 2028. It, it cannot happen that much earlier or that much later from 2028. It has to happen around that time. It might happen maybe one or two years late, but it will happen around that time. It, you can't, oh, 2028, and then it happens in 2000. 50 like no that's not gonna happen it has to happen at that time it might be a little bit off but n not that much off it has to be around that time otherwise the chart is wrong otherwise the chart is not right anymore and the chart has been right for like the past hundred years and now it's suddenly not gonna be right anymore like it doesn't make gold and silver have to do an accounting of all the dollars printed and the Dow gold ratio is just that it represents gold doing what it has to do like this cannot not happen because gold that's what gold's job is to do is to be to be money and that's just gold's job and gold is really good at doing that at being money and gold and silver are really good at being money money so it because gold and silver have been around for who knows how long thousands of years they've been around since like the dawn of of humanity like it's just they have an excellent track record and it just has to go up all right it just it just does that because it just is it's just it's god's money all right the way people say it all right it's been that way since forever so Gold and silver are going to go up, guys. Just hang in a little bit longer. We're almost there. All right. Do not. It's really stressful. It's really aggravating, annoying. But we will get there. Just hang in, guys. We're almost there. Like 2028, gold and silver should skyrocket. Maybe a little bit later, but not. Should not be that that much later. All right. If, if it is that much later, then it, that then. The, that 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 year track, track record is just all going to just hit the pooper scooper and that just makes no sense. How could some, something that was working for 3,000 years suddenly not work anymore? And then, and then that the chart, a chart that's been working for 100 years, not suddenly not work anymore. It just does not make any sense. So, but hang in there, in there guys. We're almost there. 2028 maybe 2029 2030 at the latest 31 32 we will get there we're very close hang in guys
We're almost there. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.